Yesterday we discussed the need to stop seeking validation from the West, the need to decolonize our minds. Today let me tell you the consequence of doing so. Keir Starmer, the leader of Britain's Labour Party, has changed his party's position on Kashmir. I want to repeat that. The Labour Party has repositioned itself on the Kashmir issue. It has finally accepted that Kashmir is a bilateral issue for India and Pakistan to resolve. It's a much-needed course correction. Better late than wrong, we say. Mr. Starmer has quote-unquote vowed to rebuild trust with the Indian community. He has pledged to promote UK-India ties, stronger business links with India and cooperation on global platforms. He says that he is looking forward to meeting with the Indian High Commissioner for a renewed dialogue. A renewed dialogue. But why? Why is he so keen on India? To answer this, I'll have to take you back in time. November 2019, the race to 10 Downing Street was heating up. We reported on how the Labour Party under Jeremy Corbyn was taking polarising positions on Kashmir. We told you the fallout. Prominent British Indians actively campaigned for the Conservative Party, which is now in power. They singled out Labour lawmakers for their anti-India and pro-Pakistan positions. Jeremy Corbyn then tried to undo the damage. He tried to appease the Indian vote bank with a tikka and a Diwali video. Who can forget this? It's the victory of light over darkness. It reminds us that we must do all we can together with our families, our friends and our neighbours to ensure the renewal of friendships. Too bad that did not work. The outcome was this. Most Indian votes went in favor of conservative candidates. And now Indian origin lawmakers are leading Boris Johnson's cabinet. Rishi Sunak is the UK exchequer. Preeti Patel is the British Home Secretary. Alok Sharma is the Secretary of State for Business. There are more names, but you get the point. The Labour Party wants to course correct now. It's been forced to acknowledge the contribution of Indians to the British, British society. It does not want to exploit India's challenges for political gains. It has seen the result. Keir Starmer himself has categorically stated, and I'm quoting again, we must not allow issues of the subcontinent to divide communities here in the United Kingdom. Issues must not divide communities. We agree. I'll tell you why. The Indian diaspora is a force to reckon with in Britain. According to the last census of the United Kingdom, British Indians constituted 2.5% of the country's total population. Close to 14 lakh Indians live in this country. They are the second largest ethnic group. Besides this, there are over 6 lakh migrant Indian voters in the UK. This U-turn is a testimony to the might and growing political clout of the Indian diaspora. This is also a testimony to how India can do business from a position of strength instead of seeking validation from the West.